learning to live in the present. One of the unexpected gifts that cancer gave me was the realization that life is happening now. Not tomorrow, not in some distant, idealized future, but right here, in the present moment. It took a diagnosis of something as life-altering as cancer to shake me out of the future-focused mindset I had been living in for so long. When confronted with the possibility that my time might be limited, I began to understand the importance of embracing life as it unfolds rather than constantly waiting for some later date to truly live. Before cancer, I, like so many people, often found myself preoccupied with future plans, goals, and ambitions. There was always something on the horizon that I was working toward, something that I thought would bring me fulfillment or happiness once it was achieved. I believed I had time, plenty of time, but the truth is that mindset kept me from appreciating the beauty and significance of each day, each moment. It kept me focused on what's next instead of what's now. When cancer entered my life, the future became uncertain. All those plans, the ones I had so carefully mapped out, suddenly felt fragile and distant. I no longer knew what was coming or how much time I had to achieve those dreams. It was terrifying, but it also forced me to confront a truth that I had been avoiding. The future is never guaranteed. The only thing we can truly count on is the moment we are living in right now. At first, this realization was overwhelming. I had spent so much time looking ahead, I didn't know how to fully live in the present. But as I progressed through my treatment, something began to shift. I started to see the value in the small, everyday moments that I had once taken for granted. There was beauty in the ordinary. Things like a quiet morning with a cup of tea, the laughter of a loved one, or the warmth of the sun on my face. These moments were no longer just part of the background. They became the essence of my life, the things I now cherished most. Living in the present didn't mean ignoring the future or abandoning my hopes and dreams. It meant learning to hold both the present and the future in balance. It meant allowing myself to hope for the future while also being fully grounded in the here and now. I came to realize that while planning for the future is important, it shouldn't come at the cost of missing out on the present. One of the greatest challenges I faced in learning to live in the present was dealing with fear. Fear of the unknown. Fear of what might come next. It's easy to get caught up in worrying about the future, especially when dealing with something as unpredictable as cancer. But I found that the more I focused on the present, the less power fear had over me. When I directed my energy toward appreciating the day in front of me, the fear began to fade into the background. Practicing mindfulness became an important part of this process. I started to pay more attention to the present moment, whether I was in the middle of a chemotherapy session, resting at home, or spending time with loved ones. I focused on what was happening right then, instead of worrying about the next treatment or what my scans might show. By anchoring myself in the present, I found a sense of peace that I hadn't known before. It didn't take away all the fear or uncertainty, but it made them more manageable. Another key to living in the present was learning to let go of control. Cancer made it painfully clear that there were many things in life I couldn't control, no matter how hard I tried. I couldn't control how my body would respond to treatment or how long my recovery would take. I couldn't control the outcome. But what I could control was how I responded to each moment, each challenge. I could choose to approach life with gratitude, even when things were difficult. I could choose to focus on what I had, rather than what I had lost. In learning to live in the present, I also became more present in my relationships. I no longer took for granted the time I spent with family and friends. Every conversation, every shared moment became more precious. I stopped rushing through life, always looking ahead to the next thing, and started savoring the time I had 
with the people I loved. I listened more deeply, engaged more fully, and appreciated the gift of simply being together. Living in the present has taught me that life is not about waiting for the perfect moment. It's about finding the perfection in every moment. It's about being fully alive to the experiences, the emotions, and the people who surround us. Even in the midst of illness and uncertainty, there is joy to be found if we allow ourselves to see it. Cancer may have changed many things about my life, but it also brought with it this powerful lesson. The present is all we really have. And while I may not know what the future holds, I do know that I don't want to waste the precious time I have now. By embracing the present, I've learned to live more fully, more deeply, and with a greater sense of peace and gratitude. In the end, learning to live in the present has not only helped me navigate the challenges of cancer, it has transformed the way I experience life itself. I no longer need to wait for some future event to find happiness or fulfillment. It's here, in the quiet moments of today, where life's greatest gifts can be found. And that realization has been one of the most profound changes in my journey. The background music is from Serene Music, Superb Nature. You can find it at my YouTube channel. My name is Weeping Kai. Thanks for watching.